Hi everyone, in this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to take a look at the Malampati score, define the anatomy, explain proper technique, and how to interpret the score. So, the score is named for the Indian American anesthesiologist Sheshagiri Malampati, and the score is used to predict the level of difficulty of intubation. Level of difficulty with intubation. Now we should know that the score was created before the advent of video laryngoscopes and therefore is used in reference to difficulty with direct laryngoscopy. So first we're going to talk about what we're looking at, the actual anatomy itself. And I have four diagrams here and as always I recommend going to Google and taking a look at images better than some of my doodles as I don't know what I can and can't take off the internet to put in my video, but this is at least a decent representation. So class one, as pictured here on the left, and you can in it visualize, I'm gonna put a little pink over here to represent kind of the, one of our other parts. The pink represents our soft palate. So you can see the soft palate, which is posterior to the hard palate on the roof of the mouth. You can see the entire uvula You can see the oral fauces and the tonsillar pillars. Now I do want to define a couple of these. As the first time I heard oral fauces and tonsillar pillars, I had no idea what we were talking about. So I'm going to underline this in green because I'm going to mark it on the anatomy in green. Uh, so and this is something I was never quite clear about. The fauces is part of the oropharynx in the back of the throat. It's the space found back here and back here. And it's delineated superiorly by the soft palate, because that's where they meet, laterally by the palatoglossal and palatopharyngeal arches, and inferiorly by the tongue. So you're really looking for all intents and purposes to see the back of the oropharynx. And I also want to clear up what the tonsillar pillars are. Uh, others may not know this because I definitely did it at first. The tonsillar pillars marked here and here, and I'll underline in blue because I'm marking them in blue, they're a fold of tissue that sits just anterior to the tonsil or where the tonsil would be in a person who's had them removed. So again, class one score, soft palate, entire uvula, oral fauces in the posterior oral pharynx, and the tonsillar pillars. Now in class two, we can still see the soft palate, but now we can only see part of the uvula. And we can see part of the oral fauces, but we cannot, I'm gonna mark in red, cannot see tonsillar pillars. Okay, now as you can see, it's getting the view is getting worse and worse as we go up in score. And in one, we can see hard palate. And we can see just the base of uvula with no pillars negative pillars, negative fauces. And then finally, in a grade one view, I apologize, a grade four view, I should probably mark these, grade one, two, three, and four. In our grade four view, all we can see is the hard palate. So many may know that scores of one and two here are indicative of easy intubations or easier intubations and three and four of more difficult intubations. Now in a study of 35,000 patients by Anna Lee et al, sensitivity of this test was 76% and specificity was found to be 77% with regards to predicting a difficult intubation. 
And again, this might be something that comes up. Another thing that may come up that should also be done clinically is proper technique for evaluation. In this case, the patient should, one, sit up. They should not be laying down. Two, open mouth as wide as can. Open mouth wide. And three, stick tongue out as far as possible. Now at this time you can ask the patient to say ah or not, uh, to phonate, and the score may change based off of the, this, based off of the degree in which the patient has protruded their tongue. Now the last thing of note is that there actually is a Malampati grade zero that we don't have described here, and many people don't discuss it. And most of the time it's seen in children. And what a grade zero view is, is one in which the practitioner can actually see any part of the epiglottis when doing this maneuver. Overall, the Malampati is a good score at predicting easy intubations, but may be limited in predicting difficult ones. And there are other scores out there for evaluating the airway that should be also considered when checking a patient's airway. So that's all for the basics of the Malampati score. If you have any questions or concerns or are interested in getting involved, feel free to contact us. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel by clicking below and tune in for the next video.